looks like a uh, nice day to get out on the water down here at uh, Gua, just in the uh, in the river system here. I've got a set of uh, lovely dry plant dry pants to try out. It's really cold. I want to stay warm, so I'm going to try them on and uh, see how good they are. Work out how to use them. The Lovig dry pants are a bit like a set of fishing awaiters, except they're designed for kayaks. They're a full waterproof pant with a waterproof sock at the bottom, and they have a uh, they have a neoprene seal around the waist. So if you fall into the water, you don't get wet. Your upper body's free, so you can paddle and still work. You can cool yourself down by adding or stripping layers at the top. So uh, yeah, pretty cool design, I think. They're on special. It's got Lovig Hobie for $150, so I snapped this one up. The pants are designed to breathe, so you should be able to sweat inside them when you're paddling or pedaling and, uh, and still not get soaked. The big problem with these pants is the sock itself. It has no protection, so you have to wear footwear over the top of the pants. Now this is really good, you want to have um, the option to wear different footwear for the different activities you engage in. Um, this is why I went for a set of these instead of a cheap set of waders. But uh, you do have to find a way of protecting that footwear. So what I'm trying here is a neoprene sock over the bottom of the pant and then a set of Cedar Summit uh, soft shoes over the top of that. But uh, as I put these soft Cedar Summit shoes on they uh, aren't fitting very well. Um, there's too much bulk between the, uh, the sock of the pant and, uh, and the second neoprene sock I put on the top so they're no good. So I try a set of sandals instead. I picked these up cheap from uh, Spendless Shoes just uh, as another option to see if they work really well because they're highly adjustable. I think they'll fit on the bottom of the pant really easily. So that seems to do the job. I've got the dry pants on. I've got socks underneath, keep my feet warm. The dry layer, over the top I've got a neoprene sock and then a set of sandals, cheap sandals over the top of that. And that seems to do the job nicely. Plenty of protection, protecting the membrane of the of the suit from abrasion, from sand and puncture, and good traction on the bottom. So see how that goes. It looks like a nice day, but this water is freezing cold. There's no way to be doing this without wearing these pants. So after the wade in, um, I could really feel the chill through the pants into my uh, into my legs. On the instructions for these pants, they say they don't keep you warm you have to layer up underneath. So I'm wearing a pair of socks underneath and uh, just a pair of thin pants. So I am feeling a bit of chill through them. You know, I'd probably go a set of tracksuit pants in hindsight next time I take them out. Absolutely no wind today. So instead of cruising up the river, I decide I'll uh, cross over to Hindmarsh Island, which is in front of me here, and then go into the canal system and explore that since there's no wind. It'll be human power all day, so I might as well take advantage of that and do a bit of exploring. This canal system is a real hidden gem. Uh, this is the bottom of the Murray River, so you get a real mix of boats here. You get uh, seagoing boats, which take advantage of the lock and will go out to the Coorong or go out to sea. And then you also get uh, houseboats, which cruise up and down the river and sometimes come down to this end to moor. People living on the canals, uh, a lot of houses along the side of the canals, walkers and things like that. Yeah, they really are beautiful. So these neoprene socks I'm wearing are wet and they're actually chilling my feet. So uh, I might have to come up with another idea for something to wear over the pants, something that doesn't contain water like the neoprene does. I might wear the uh, neoprene socks underneath next time I'm thinking and uh, put something else over the top. So this was an odd sight on the river. Looks like four massive stink boats, luxury cruisers, all rafted up, tied together. Looks like there's a group of people having a party. I had to go check it out. You must know how to raft up, don't you? How good's that? <laughs> Quadruple cruiser. <laughs> awesome. These guys turned out to be really friendly, so as I pulled past, they invited me over for a bit of a chin wag, so. Uh, so I pulled up next to them and just allowed the kayak to drift and uh, had a good old chinwag with them. The Hobie Island boats always get a lot of curiosity because uh, they're such an unusual little design. So I've been pedalling and paddling around for about four hours now and uh, this system's working quite well. 
The fact that my upper body is exposed allows me to regulate my temperature and I don't feel myself getting wet. The only issue I've got at the moment is my feet feel like they're damp. So I'll have to check that out when I get this rig off. Towards the end of the day, I finally got a little bit of wind. It's not huge, but it's just really nice to get the sail out and uh, just feel the boat propelling along. Nice way to end the day. The neoprene sock I was wearing over my dry pants uh, got wet as soon as I got in the water and it just stayed wet the whole time, chilling my feet. And, uh, and I think it allowed a bit of water to leach into the pants themselves. So after I took the sock off and uh, then took the pants off, my uh, cotton sock that I was running underneath was damp. It wasn't soaked, but it was damp. So obviously a bit of water does get through these pants. I mean, the only other option is it was sweat that uh, caused the socks to get damp, but that was the only part that was damp. Um, everywhere else I was dry, so I suspect a little bit of water leached through. So. Uh, they're not 100% waterproof, and I might need to rethink how I wear them. So if you have a pair of these and you wear them, you want to let us know how you do it, add it in the comments, that'd be much appreciated. And for everyone, thank you very much for watching. Catch you next time. So if you like this kind of positive adventure content, don't be a slug. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment. These things keep me motivated to make these videos. And check out a few of these other adventures.